In our previous video, we looked at a plant cell. We now know how to mount a microscope slide, don't you? We will now look at an animal cell. You will once again require a few things. A microscope, a slide, methylene blue and a toothpick. Add a drop of methylene blue. Now gently scrape the inner side of your cheek with a toothpick. Dab the tip of the toothpick onto the slide. Let us observe this under the microscope. What are we observing here? That's right, we are looking at cheek cells of humans. These look so much like the plant cells. Hold on, we will watch it a little more closely. Do you remember there are two distinct boundaries around the cell? Yes, the cell wall and the plasma membrane. Notice that we do not have the cell wall around the plasma membrane in the animal cell. Okay, how about we do one thing? Let's understand the animal cell by comparing it with the plant cell. There are many other differences. Can you spot them? In the plant cell, there is a large empty structure and it's called the vacuole. In the animal cell, there are several smaller ones scattered all over the cytoplasm. Let me repeat. The plant cell has one single vacuole while the animal cell has several smaller ones. Also, in the plant cell, there are several colored bodies. Do you know what they are called? They are known as plastids. These are absent in animal cells. Look at this plastid in the plant cell. It's called the chloroplast and it contains chlorophyll. This pigment gives the green color to the leaves and I'm sure you know the other purpose for which chlorophyll is used. Yes. Plants require chlorophyll for the process of photosynthesis. Let us review the differences between the plant and the animal cell. The plant cell has a cell wall whereas the animal cell doesn't have it. The plant cell has one big single vacuole whereas the animal cell has several smaller vacuoles. Lastly, the plant cell has plastids while the animal cell does not. Apart from the nucleus, vacuoles and plastids, there are several other organelles in the cell. You will study them in our other videos. The entire content of a living cell is called as protoplasm. What is protoplasm then? Protoplasm is the living substance of the cell. It includes the cytoplasm and the nucleus. Can cells be differentiated in other ways? We'll see that in our next video.